Hello and welcome to today's video and this video is about this 2D bulkhead light fitting that I have saved. Currently the electrician who I know is replacing all of these with LED ones and some of them are emergency light fittings and others like this one are just a standard one but they're all fluorescent lights and they're all being replaced with slimmer more modern LED fittings well anyway we'll show you this light I'm not exactly sure when this dates from but I'll show you the information that's on it and if anybody can find out exactly what year this is from you can let us know in the comments below well anyway the shades clip on these light fittings and all you need is something like a big flathead screwdriver. You just pop it in here and here and then it will just pop off. I've already done this freeze. This diffuser is slightly yellowed and I think it's designed to shine the light down because on the sides it's got these stripes all the way around. So I don't think it's, I think it's just downwards and these little prisms and I say it's slightly yellowed over the years some light scratches on this one there's no writing at all that I can see on this diffuser so we'll go into the actual lamp itself and this lamp is a generic lamp it's got no information on the glass whatsoever but it has got a sticker on it which says see if we can make sure I get it in focus Bell 2D 28 watt 35,000 K 4 pin SP slash D14 what it means by 4 pin is this bit just here basically the ballast will go to one pin the neutral goes to the other pin and the other two pins will be linked with a starter and I believe this is a T6 tube. And the reason why I know that is because I also have, out of one of my other lot, one of my fittings, I have a GE fitting. And this one, if I can get this in focus, hopefully I can. Yep. This is a, a General Electric F28 W2D827 super coat made in Hungary and this one actually has the 2D marking on the actual tube as well the other one just had a sticker the starter in this light is just a Philips made in Holland S10 single 220 240 volt 4 to 65 watt fluorescence and some other information on there as well to get into this light you just have to remove this screw, single screw but before we do that I'll show you the information on the side before I forget and this is telling you what type of luminaire to replace again it says 2d 28 watt fluorescent uh, 240 mains 50 Hertz and then on this side it says emergency lighting but there's no emergency lighting inside this fitting but when I open it up you will see a compartment where a battery probably lived so in a different version of this light there was probably an emergency light version as well not all lights have to be emergency light I said it's got this compartment just here that does nothing and when you open these up the neutral in the life gets disconnected and only the earth is linked inside the fitting we have 
is ballast. 28S C69609 4P, 1 times 28 2D lamp, 240 mains, 50 hertz, and a little bit more information. And made in Great Britain. It also has 402 written in red. Starter housing. Um, it has a little tested sticker here. Uh, with 65.0099, it has a 3 amp fuse fitted, and this is like a standard plug fuse. Replace fuse with a 3 amp BS British Standard 1362, and again, some more information letting you know this is a 240 volt AC. And that's about it, really. So I'll just um, put this back together. The screw's needed because it obviously makes a better connection when it's on. And what we'll do is I'll get the light, try and get it centralised in the vid for the video. There we go. Put in the starter. Now you can use obviously pull starters like this one which don't flash. And in this video, I'm going to use the one that we was fitted with. So we might get a flash, just a word of caution. There's the tube in. And we'll turn on the power. On three. One, two, three. Nice. And this one is a kind of white colour. As I said, it says it's um, 3,500K. And when you fit the diffuser, to fit the diffuser, all you have to do is push it back on and it's clipped on. And what we'll do is we'll turn the light up onto its end. There we go. And I hope you enjoyed this video of this 2D light fitting. And thank you very much for watching. These are starting to get a little rarer now. And I quite like them actually. Out of all the compact fluorescent lights, I believe this was one of the better designs. You got quite a lot of light from quite a small area and it was an ingenious design whoever made these. But once again I'll say thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.